Hello, thanks for joining us, you guys. I'm Virginia Cha. Today, we are pressing San Diego police for any updates on the investigation into the deadly fall at Petco Park over the weekend. A woman and her two-year-old son died after falling from Petco Park's third floor, and investigators are calling that fall suspicious. Let's get to ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano, who joins us live from downtown. Rena, a memorial there has been growing. Yeah, that's right, Virginia. Community members came here last night to leave stuffed animals, flowers and balloons to pay their respects to the 40 year old woman and her two year old son who died. It all happened just before the Padres Braves game began on Saturday afternoon at around 350. Uh, San Diego police saying officers arrived to the sidewalk of 200 Tony Gwynn Way to find a 40 year old Caucasian woman and her two year old son with fatal injuries. It's uncertain if they jumped, fell or were pushed off the third floor concession area. We just do not know the circumstances just yet, but police say their deaths appear to be suspicious. So homicide detectives are called out to investigate. Earlier, we spoke to Shane Harris, civil rights advocate and longtime friend of Tony Gwynn's widow. He said she wished to share her condolences to the family. This is tragic. Uh, in any light, uh, the Gwynn family would probably, uh, under these circumstances, even if it wasn't on Tony Gwynn Drive, but because it ended up on Tony Gwynn Drive, it's just, it's just deeply tragic. Uh, and the Gwynn family certainly feels the pain uh, for this family and, and, and sends their condolences. Now, the identities of the woman and her son have not been made public yet, but we do know that they are San Diego residents. Homicide detectives are still investigating this incident. They are hoping to find evidence and speak with potential witnesses. So if you have any information, you are asked to call San Diego police. In downtown, I'm Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Rena.